What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Live the Dream Cube Draft. Uh, today, what are these things? What's that little... That's weird. I don't like it. Today, I do have to pick up the dogs at some point. They're at the groomers right now. The little boys are getting, getting haircuts. So, after this, we're going to be doing our set review, me and Rob, for Zendikar Rising, so... Oh, I think it's this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got that one out of the way. Um, so, yeah. That's our schedule. We're doing draft. Picking up the dogs at some point. We're going to stay live while we pick up the dogs. It's just like 15 minutes. They're like 8 minutes away. So, I'll just go get them. Come back. Keep rolling. All right. What are we getting here? Karlov. Interesting. Chupacabra seems just good. Oh, you haven't seen any spoilers. Interesting. I try not to read the cards. Like, unless something is really put in my face, I'm like, I'll just wait. Because sometimes I like my opinions to be fresh. This does say Hunter on it. Hunter's also at the vet today. Katie took Hunter with him to work to give him blood work. So we got Hunter at the vet, and the two the two little boys are at the at the groomers. So Man, it's really, it's really a dog-centric day. Super Friends isn't really an archetype in this cube, unfortunately. And I don't think Elspeth Terrell is, is who I'd want to start with for that. I think we're just taking Chupacabra because it's just good. But I kind of like just taking Karlov. And forcing like a white archetype. I'm going to take, take Chups. Oh, good. She said they're done. Well, that's... <laughs> Um, she's like, I thought they would have called you. I'm like, they don't have my number. She made the appointment, so. It could be Yarok, actually. I want to take Yarok. That's double choops. Is it entering and leaving the battlefield? No, just entering. Okay. Okay. Noxious Gearhulk has an enter the battlefield ability. That's pretty cool. Oh, shoot. It's Boros Reckoner, y'all. I think it's Noxious Gear Hulk. <coughs> oh, what up, Jimmy the Mole? Thank you. Oh my god, Michael B, what are you doing? Michael B is at work subscribing? Oh my god. Oh, Voracious Hydra hasn't entered the battlefield trigger, right? Yeah, let's take that guy. That's pretty cool. You used to say people gonna die? <laughs> That's I don't know where that I don't know where that uh that Jar Jar quote came from, but Oh, expropriate, Green Warden, or fixing land. Green Warden gets us back two cards. I actually think it's Hintral and Harbor. Michael B, can you go grab the dogs from the groomers real quick? Is that a thing you can do? I had to take Michael B to work today. Because his car is not working. So his dad dropped him off at work and his mom's going to get him from work. I know I'm drunk. What's <laughs> that smash command has not worked for quite a while. Um, so we're up to these are both enters the battlefield cards. <clears throat> I think Sower's probably a little better here. 
I can steal two guys. Ooh, Pelucranos is just good. Like, that guy's just gonna beat some buddies up. Lands, you can... Oh, okay, this is... No. No. Seagate Oracle's nice, but I think Pelucranos as a, as a card is just stronger. Mike B, have a happy lunch. You know what they say. Happy wife, happy lunch. Whatever that means. I've heard him say it. Man, this Yarok really, uh... Really leaned us into a Soul Tide deck, huh? Michael B. had a sandwich? Michael B., are you no longer fasting? <clears throat> Did you just quit altogether? Uh, Aether's Pounce? Collector Brutality? Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Thank you! <laughs> I know, drunk with the resub. I appreciate it. I'm going to take Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Guys, I bought a whole saw today. Three and one eighths of an inch. Because I'm going to put a little grommet in my desk that has like, it's going to be like this shape, but it's going to have like USB connectors and uh, and, and power adapters in here. Powered like AC, AC outlets. And it's just going to sit right in the desk. I am, but on Mondays I was not. Instead, I'm gonna do 16 8 on Mondays. And 20. God, he just keeps changing it every day. He's changing the game every day. Oh, I'll just take murderous compulsion. Look how look at look how off this is. I'm like, I can't even read these titles. <coughs> is it too late for Swan? It might be. It might be. Uh, oh, Mystic Snake? I can counter two spells? I mean, you know we're just taking this guy. Glad we took this Hinterland Harbor. Because now we have double black, double blue, double blue black, double blue green, green black, double black, double... Every card is double except for these two. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, this guy's fine. But, like, it doesn't have any triggers. I'll take a stupid City of Brass even though I don't like it. Kyle, are you having a baby? Oh my god. But also, just to be clear, the someone's someone's initial doesn't change just because you're having a baby. Josh, I did get the, the pigless pork rinds. There's like four bags in there, man. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I'll have to show them <clears throat> I'll have to show them off <clears throat> on stream at some point. This is a late cruel ultimatum, and y'all don't deserve it. Wow, that's 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 terrible. I think I'm actually taking Fibbletip though, because I want a cheaper card. I'll take Teamer Ascendancy. It's possible to splash this guy, maybe someday. But I just want some early things. Oh wow, I don't know what deck wants Veronis's last stand. I bet I could find out if I looked. <coughs> Alright, what do we got here? I love Vivian. I think she's great. Reclamation is not for us. It's the same deck that wants a Yeva or a Whirlwind. Eh, we're not really a Rankle deck. I actually think it's Vivian. 
We were going to name the child Chicken Sunday. <laughs> that's a good idea. I think that's beautiful. He do draw too with the Sultai Man out. <laughs> the Sultai Man. Better watch out for the Sultai Man. I just think this Vivian's very strong. Bramble Sovereign. Rashmi. Oh, well, I'm just taking this Bayou. This is a premium. This is a premium fixing land, and nothing in this pack is super uh, convincing, so. <coughs> Voracious Great I think it's actually Kalidus. Each one sacrifices a creature or enchantment. Genesis Hydra. That's a cast trigger. The problem with like Voracious Great Shark and like Mystic Snake is that they do have under the battlefield triggers, but they're never gonna be super relevant. Remember that time when we attacked for like twenty five with them Rhino and friends? I do. And our opponent was like, Guess I'll die. And I was like, I guess. I guess you will. I think it's Kalitas, right? Little red guy pronounced it Kalitas. Okay, well, that's, that's good. We could also take Stomping Ground and then splash this Teamer Ascendancy. Which would trigger on quite a few of our guys already. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't even like playing City of Brass in here. What What's a Temple of Brass? Brad, I've never even heard of this card. It's like a city of brass, but smaller. It's it's something within the city. Um. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Like again, I wonder. I worry about the ability to cast Great Henge for less than like six mana. Also, Great Henge not being a May ability is actually kind of scary. Like, this actually adds up very, very quickly. Ugh, God. <laughs> yeah, we have Honored Hydra, so as long as we have our one, our one six power creature out, we're good to go. We are good to go. Uh, Spark Double is an Enters the Battle trigger, not the... Uh, wait, do we have Spark Double? It's, it's, a, it's a... As it enters the battlefield trigger... Not an enters the battlefield trigger. It enters as that thing, so it doesn't it doesn't actually it doesn't actually trigger. Oh my god. Oh Riffling Cloudskate. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's perfect. I was leaning towards like Nightmare Shepherd and I'm like, I don't want another four drop here, but Riffling Cloudskate is the hero we need. If I had to explain it, I wouldn't know where to start. I keep falling in love while I just fall apart. <coughs> hmm. Scavenging ooze is probably pretty decent. Hydrate crass is okay, we just don't have a lot of ramping things. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna take scavenging ooze. I think it's I think it's actually a pretty good foil for this format. Oh, Frilled Mystic. 
See, now you're giving me the things that I want. I have to go now. My people need me. <laughs> Goodbye, Michael. Tell your home planet that we appreciate them. Whatever that means. We definitely need more fixing lands, but I, b I believe in us. I think we'll find them. <coughs> oh, Murderous Rider? Yeah, I'll take Murderous Rider. Yeah. I mean, Maggot just milling an extra four cards is not really a... It's not really a game-winning effect, let's say. I'll take Omni... Ugh, God, this pack's not great. I'll take Rankle. Um... Eh. Rashmi's fine. You know what? Grand Coliseum's fine. I'll take a Grand Coliseum. It's not great. Bird, 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 bird. Well, all things being killed, drawing more than one per turn is better than drawing one, unless you have one card in your library. Yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? No, because you only think about yourself. Knowledge exploitation. <laughs> oh, what if you have last? Oh, this is what I wanted. But for some reason, it grabbed Sower of Temptation, so that was weird. Uh, I like a Nightmare Shepherd. Alright. Well. Villainous Wealth did not come back. Oh, actually, I'll play Care Mind Eater. That guy's fine. That guy's like a Hypnotic Specter. Ooh, Signet? Simic Signet? <coughs> the perfect Signet to cast both Mystic Snake and Frilled Mystic? Okay. Sold. And not a single other card in this pack that really says anything to me? Okay. Beautiful. Oh, fetid pools. I like it. I again I'm okay with that. Do 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 do. Uh no. Oh, Elvish Visionary. Lanor Visionary is nice. <coughs> it ramps us to all these heavy bigs. Heavy bigs, and also it uh oh, but do we just is this guy better? This guy seems... <sighs> oh, God. I'm just hoping this guy comes back. I think we need the three drop for our deck. But I'm really hoping Silent Blade only comes back. Because I will definitely just windmill slam that guy. <clears throat> I mean, Blender Visionary is nice. Because even if we miss our fourth land drop, it's still lets us cast things. And it draws us a card. It draws two cards with the Yarok. I can see playing everything that's in here right now. Glensleaf Siphon are also pretty nice because it lets us draw some cards. Oh, Eternal Witness. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's real nice. <coughs> Pockets empty. How can you tell me that everything will work out? I got the, I've had the Get Up Kids stuck in my head for like two days now. Four days now. For a long time now. 
for 47 years. Uh, Lighthouse Chronologist is meh. Briarhorn's kind of meh. This pack has some really good cards in it, just nothing we care about. I don't really care about Seedborn Muse, except for the fact that we have these two. Don't care about Chronologist. Mimic Vets? Okay. Parting Thoughts is also fine. Just destroy a creature and then you draw cards if they have, if they have counters on them. I think Parting Thoughts is actually probably fine. I feel like I kind of like that more than Mimic Vet. Oh, Chorwit. <clears throat> I think it's Vatter Parting Thoughts. But we do have Murderous Compulsion, Murderous Rider, Ravenous Chupacabra. I'm gonna t I'll take the name of that. Sure. <gasps> Tropical Island? Oh my god. How lucky can you get? My god. Oh, what is this guy? Uh, with X and its mana cost. We have one card with X. So otherwise it's a 2-3 death touch for 4. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of just want Dream Eater here. You also get to bounce two things and surveil 8. Yeah, I'm just taking that guy. I mean, it ramps, but at that point, we already have four mana. It's only a two, three. It's not super impressive. I just expect better. <laughs> Braska's Contempt? This guy enters the battlefield with, with six wish counters on him. I don't even know what Surly Badgersaur, Bad, Badgersaur is. Man, where's Badger when you know him? Whenever you discard a creature, put a one on counter on it. <clears throat> Whenever you discard a land, create a treasure. It's pretty good. I think it's I, it's obviously their Contempt or Djinn, but... Yeah, I'll take Braska's Contempt. Anything? Celestia Eulogist. Well, we have n almost no tokens. I don't think we have anything that makes tokens here. Actual zero, except for Honored Hydra. So populating is not great. But also, it's the only card in here that we can actually cast. So I'm going to take it, and if we need... It's also Exiles from, from their graveyard, so it's not, not the worst. Activate this only if you create a token this turn. You know what? I'll take Birthing Pod. <gasps> the Silent Blade Oni came back! Oh, my excitement is... real. Could take Blood Crypt in case we want to splash this Teamer Ascendancy. I don't think we're going to, though. I'm going to just take... Tragic Slippery now. Oh, Briarhorn came back. What is Seedborn Muse? Do we care about a Seedborn Muse? Like, literally, the only thing we can do is activate these guys. Or this, or cast like an instant. <coughs> I guess Dream Eater. Oh, you know what? I'll take Seedborn Muse. What the hell? Oh, final... Uh, no, final party. I was thinking of uh, the other party. It's, it's, all, it's also called parting, right? Oh, okay. Well. Corpse Nogger and Roshin Meander is on the sideboard. I have four cuts. Five fixing lands. And a signet. It's not terrible. Um, I might just take out Frilled Mystic. I don't think we need both of these, and Frilled is a little harder to cast, obviously. I'm not ex super excited about Seedborn Muse. You can probably take out Honored Hydra. <laughs> we don't have anybody to really get it in the graveyard, and it's a little bit expensive on its own. <clears throat> oh my god, La Pizza. Oh my god. 
La Pizza. Oh my god. Oh my god, La Pizza! What are you doing with your life? <laughs> oh man, what's going on, buddy? Wow! Oh my god, La Pizza is my friend Mike LaPera from, uh, from Florida. Who I probably haven't seen in years. Wow, that's wild. What a time to be alive. Alright, so we got here. 24 cards, we need one cut. Oh my god, La Pizza. I'm just gonna keep saying it. It's like I had a stroke. A little pain, diarrhea. <clears throat> Alright, I had to use this before the last time. <laughs> it's true, it's true. That name means, oh my god, the pizza. It's true, yeah. All of these are factual things you guys are saying. I need one cut. What do I cut? Nothing? Because we want to play... Uh, 41? Yeah, okay. I think we're definitely playing City of Brass. How much do we have any life game? We got Kalidus and Yarok. That's pretty good. And Scavenging Ooze. We're gaining so much life. Murder Shrier got lifelink? Sure. Sure. Alright, um, let's sort this by color. Oh my god, the pizza. I'm like blown away right now. Michael P just, Michael the pizza just, just pops into the, ch I called him Michael P, but then I was like, wait, his last name's not pizza. Because I'm so used to saying Michael B. Alright, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, seven green? We'll stick with seven green for now. Uh... Black, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Blue, we got four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we'll cut one of these. Add another black. Black looks pretty heavy. Uh, three, four, five, six. Seven. Plus, we have Signet. Oh, we get one more for free anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's exciting. Oh, boy. The excitement is real. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, these three kind of cancel out, right? It's one of each color, and then this guy. So they all kind of add one, except for the snake, which has one extra blue. I felt the MTG itch, and I'm going to... <laughs> Michael of Pizza, how, how long has it been since you played Magic, buddy? It's been 47 years. <coughs> I mean, we all know we always come back. Mimic Vat can go over here. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight, eight, eight. 2013? I feel like we want one more black. I feel like black should be the nine here. I mean, we're definitely higher black than anything else. Seven years since you played Magic the Gathering? Seven years since there's been a gathering? <clears throat> I mean, black is so much higher, but... Thank you! I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Seven years sober. I haven't done a pack war in forever, buddy. You're missing out once you open the once you rip those sweet packs. Alright, we're gonna try this. Oh my god, Chort with the gifted sub, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Michael La Pizza. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <clears throat> it feels really weird having Frilled Mystic on the sideboard, but this is how you do it. Michael, I approve of your decision. Don't don't waste those packs for nothing. Yeah, we used to go to the store and be like, you know, we could just do one more pack war. It's just one more. It's only like it's only like ten dollars for three packs. I got an extra ten bucks. Pretty soon you're like one hundred and sixty dollars deep. You got nothing to show for him. <laughs> <coughs> 
<clears throat> oh, we're playing against Stop That Hurt. Wholesome. Wholesome. Oh, this is a good hand. <clears throat> Remember when we won all those mind sculptors off backward? That was, yeah, we did win some Jaces. That was pretty sweet back in the day, man. Oh, man. Pack wearing and winning a Jace is like... It's like, the, it's like the best thing you'll ever experience. It's like, it's where you want to be. It's in the game. Can we... What's the deal here? T -t -t Today, Junior. Thank you. If this was like Hearthstone, I'd keep this hand. Maybe because then we'd never have anything to do. I guess you can go three drop, four drop, four drop, four drop. <laughs> Silent Blade Oni. Did y'all ever flip and rip? No, that was before. That was flip and rip was after. After this. Grandma Boofy, thank you for the resub. Welcome back. Six months, Elias Official would be proud. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's very suspicious. I'm going to mulligan this hand for obvious reasons. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep this. I'll send the land back. Send that land back. <clears throat> If this is Hearthstone, I'd call you a damn cheater because that's not a three card. Hey, buddy. Listen. 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 Are you listening? Arr. He almost hit Gabe. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's. Oh, City of Brass? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We're going to draw a Murderous Rider and not be able to cast it and feel really bad. Don't you ever mention Elias Official in this chat ever. Not even if there was a fire. Wait, why would you... Why would you... Why would that... Huh. Hmm. What? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay, well, neither of us have anything to play, so that's good. I have a handful of six drops, so that's that's the thing. <clears throat> Matthew and that person in the chat have a have a little bit of a thing. Oh wow, that was timely. Like certain reinforcements in the game of magic. Well, I hope he doesn't get counterspelled. Don't counterspell my guy. Don't cast a counter spell on my guy. They didn't do anything. I would I would consider attacking with Pelucranos as living the dream. I would consider my opponent going turn five Mindstone, missing two land drops, living the dream. I'm living the dream in, in a lot of different ways, personally. Sometimes people live the dream by attacking, so. Unfortunately, this guy costs six, so that's not, that's not really where we're at right now in our dream. I will, however, suspend this gentleman. Because I think <clears throat> being able to go turn f to like this guy first and then like any one of these guys is pretty good. So many dreams are coming true. Not for our opponents so much, but <clears throat> I feel like we're we're representing dreams accurately. Oh, what up, Josh? Okay, that's fine. I accept that. Pockets empty. Oh, that's just fine <clears throat> and that's less fine but all right alternatively could, could it cast hydra for two make it a two three and kill this but i'm not really concerned with this like if you're going to spend your turn like exiling a card and having a i had a call with nordvpn they're going to get me set up with a two-week business account trial that seems good Josh, I appreciate you sent me an email the other day too i appreciated that i didn't know how to i didn't know how to respond though because i was like i don't want to like accidentally respond to like the whole group 
<laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll just I'll just chat with him on on stream when I see him next. <clears throat> I'm gonna be like, hey man, that's awesome. Really appreciate the heads up. And everyone gets it on like the in the whole group chat, and I'm like, oh no, that's awkward. <clears throat> Yeah, I obviously not buying carbon copy works, but I just didn't want to like risk it, so I was like, eh, it's fine. I don't want to be awkward. So how bonkers have the sets been the past few years? I saw some little pony crossovers. <laughs> okay, so Mike, there's a lot more alternate arts now. Which are just the same cards. Like this is released as a regular version, but they also have like this alternate art, like extended no like borderless version right same thing with this guy right like this is the regular art but it's just a borderless version so they're kind of more like premium versions like foils but not foil and also like there's like 10 cards banned in standard so oh wow they hit like nothing they hit one dragon lord tarka that's it oh garuda they hit a garuda too okay but are they dead but did you die so there's six mana here, so we can just bounce this guy and attack them with... Interesting. Oh god, that sounds expensive. <laughs> well, you know what they say. I kind of just want to play Noxious Girl can kill this. Just run another creature. Yep, gain life equal to its toughness. That seems good. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> One, two, five, six, seven. Okay, thank you. Just let me take my my damage, please. Eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. So they go to one here. I doubt it. I have my doubts. Nick's Bloom Ancient in the trash can. So this is this is two of the seven cards in your hand. If you attack and they don't block, you can ninja cast their own dragon lord. That's true, but I have a feeling they'd probably they'd probably at least jump block. And then they can easily eat the <clears throat> Yeah, so like they've been pushing power level a lot in standard, and everyone is pretty miserable with the ten bands. They're all like, I don't know why you keep having banned these cards. Like, I don't know why these cards are so strong. Like Imagine a set with 30 planeswalkers. Now pretend it's real. Now stop pretending, because it was real. It was... Yeah, they had a set with, like, 36 planeswalkers. And, like, there were uncommon planeswalkers, rare planeswalkers, and mythic planeswalkers. <clears throat> and they had static abilities. Yeah, alright, let's see what's happening here. Alright, let's pop these graveyards out. Okay, you hit a Kalidus. It's not terrible. This guy has Menace, though, so as long as we can get rid of one of your dudes, which we can, you're dead. Deal. Oh, actually, this guy... <laughs> I imagine this guy comes down into play now. Sometimes I don't actually know the number of turns I have with uh, with Riftwing Cloudskate, and I just kind of feel it when I see it. I'm like, oh, yeah, now it's, it's ready. You just kind of get a feeling. You're like, I've waited for a while, so I feel like this has to be the turn. And it was. So we just bounce our own Kalidus and then kill them. Okay. <clears throat> I'd say we live the dream. Michael the pizza. Michael, here, let me show you. This is this is one of the cars that was banned. That everyone literally hates. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Is this gonna open it up? Oh my god, why can't you just open why can't you just save? Why can't you save as a JPEG like a normal card? Why can't you be more like your brother? Not JPG. Oh, because it's going to do this. Either way, you can see it. It's three mana, one and a white and a blue. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast a sorcery. So automatically, without having to do anything with this Planeswalker, 
it just prevents you from playing any sort of source any sort of instant speed stuff you can't counter my spells you can't kill my guys so if i play this if you don't respond to it in some way you just don't get to kill it until your turn so basically if if if, if you can at all plus one until your next turn you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash Negative three returns to one target artifact creature or enchantment to its owner's hand and draw a card. This was one of the most annoying cards in standard in a long time. I'll keep this hand. So if your opponent has like no cards in hand, you can plus one and like instant speed, like remove, like discards, use a discard spell instant, like a, at, during like their draw phase. Oh, Fetid Pools is nice. Oh, how nice. Man, Pelucranos did some work last game. Oh, wow. I'm jealous of this Demir Signet. Give me a three drop. It wasn't even the first... It wasn't even the first Teferi that made people mad. That's correct. Don't tell OMG Lapizza about Narset. There's so many three mana planeswalkers that people are just like, no. Narset, Oko, and Teferi. They were all terrible. <clears throat> oh wow, are they gonna, are they gonna Niv Mizzet next turn? Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, three mana card. Two or three mana card. <gasps> that is a three mana card. How nice. Unfortunately, it does not work well with Vraska's Contempt or Sower of Temptation, but what can you do? Oh yeah, if you try to draw when Narset's out and you're like, oh no, I forgot. <clears throat> Thief sees. All right, well, that's pretty good. What did you get? Dragon Lord Tarka again and Knight of Autumn. Well, that's something. <clears throat> so you can just play Dragon Lord Tarka, kill my sower. Don't love it. But if they don't have a land. Hmm, fascinating. Is it worth risking it for the biscuit? Because <clears throat> then we get the Vraska's Contempt, one of them. That seems worse. Oh yeah, Gaius Cradle's like a $600 card now. It's weird. It's, it's it's rare you want a card to destroy the creature and not exile it. But here we are. Chris, is it not 600? Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure... I, I mean, like... I thought the $1,000 mark was only hype. Like, I thought it was just people buying it up. I don't think it was... I didn't think it was actually 1,000 because when I was looking... Like, people were talking about it being 1,000, but then, like, you go to TCG Player and there were still $600 copies left, so... I don't, I don't know. Like, literally, when people are like, what's well, up to $1,000 now? I was like, well, there's, like, literally copies for $500 and $600 on TCG Player, so. You just gonna kill my Mimic Vet? Okay. Okay. Bam, bam.
I'll take two. Interesting. No, I think we have to save that, though. Um... Yeah, I think we're just Pelucranosing here. I mean, I don't want to sower either of these. We can't cast Great Henge, and Murderous Compulsion is not super exciting on Joyra. Gilded Drake is $250? <clears throat> wow, I might just sell my Gilded Drake. What do they do? They suspended a Mold Drifter and a Prophetic Bolt. Okay. Sure. But you can cast those things. Are they just going to attack and then when I block, they're just going to Pelucranos? Or, uh, not Pelucranos, uh, <clears throat> Dragon Lord Targa? Have you tried HelloFresh Meal? I have not. I have not tried any meal delivery services. What's going on here? Are they going to untap and, and like, they're like, let me attack first. Or not. Okay, so they're just playing Dragon Lord Tarka. Interesting. Oh, because it removes the counters. Actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely blocking this guy. That's just a free... That's a free eat. As as it were. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four. So are this guy. You have one card left in hand. And this should be more than enough turns for us. This is eight, nine, ten. Uh, we should have kept double green out and played great hands actually, but I kind of just want to kill this instead. I mean, we can still play it next turn if they don't get rid of Dragon Lord's Ark. And they only have two cards in hand, so. He said confidently. Um, okay. That is fine. Being at 20 when you cast Bullets of Citadel is pretty good. Oh, but then doing nothing with it is also pretty... Oh my gosh! That's exciting. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, we're gonna bounce... We're gonna bounce the Dragon Lord of Tarka to cast Silent Blade Oni, and then we're gonna steal... Oh yeah, we're doing that. Again, we could have played we could have played stupid great henge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we could have played this for two and then just replaced itself. That would have been so much better. I'm so bad at this game. I got so excited that I was like <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, you can cast a spell. It doesn't work for creatures, guys. Oh, see, that's so bad. Wait, it does. What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> so it does work, but like it let me look at the hand, and then I had to click OK, and then I had to do the thing. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have no green if we get rid of Felwar Stone, so I guess we're just... Oh my god. Well, 
Wow, we really messed this one up. Whatever. I'll deal two to this guy. Cancel that. Just cast it normal then. Oh, God. That's so bad. That was like the worst turn I've ever had. Um, well, if I if I get rid of Citadel, they can still cast their Dragonlord Tarka. If I get rid of Felwar Stone, they can't. <clears throat> like, I'm just hoping they don't hit a green source. Okay, they hit a green source. <laughs> Fucking, okay, cool. My bad. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Tanos, what? Holy shit, dude. Thank you for the resub, man. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, my dude. I mean, <coughs> I'm almost positive that you will land on your feet because you're a talented you're a talented individual. Wow, that was just terrible for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. So this cost now oh, we just messed up by not playing this a lot. I got a text this morning. Hey, trying to contact you on Teams. Sorry to bother you on your vacation. I have some important Oh wow. Hey man, <laughs> let me text you about getting laid off when uh, when you're on vacation. Super cool, my dude. So we can make this a 10 thing. Like next time they get a Muldrifter and a Bolt. Ugh. Yeah, this definitely comes down to, like, the last turn. Like, being able to play Dragon Lord of Tark, I, like, it's so weird. It made me, like... So sometimes, like, I get it in my head that, like, spells are not creatures. Right? Like, sometimes it's in my head because, like, Hearthstone... Um... Yeah, double number of counters. Hearthstone, a spell is not a creature. A minion is a minion and a spell is a spell. And that's just how the game works. But, like, <clears throat> sometimes I get that confused with magic and I'm like, oh, wait. Creatures aren't spells. But, like, they're all spells. You know, so... Um, so, yeah, like, when, it's, when I saw their hand... And, like, it didn't have anything highlighted. And I was like, oh, okay. Didn't it even say in the chat? It said, like... This is five, right? Six, okay. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It said something over here where it was like zero. At least until I went on to my vacation and we paid out in alums. I mean, that's so weird, dude. I'm on payroll until November 13th because I've been here 12 years. 12 years? Oh, your job officially ceased existing and I have access to Corknet Canvas for two weeks. Which means at some point I'll need to go to the office to get my stuff out. Dude, 12 years is insane. I mean, on the bright side... It's not like you... It's not like you're just not needed anymore based on skills, right? It's um. It's more about like... Well, you know, the position doesn't exist. You know? So, I don't know. I'm sure that doesn't make you feel better, but... I don't know, dude. You're a, definitely a dude who I, I assume will... Uh, not be unemployed long. It's more like a parting F you. Yeah, well, I can imagine for sure, dude. Dude, 12 years is insane, though. Like, that's a good amount of time. Out tears of the 31 bits. My last bits in Taunus' honor. One of the best members of the... Yes, Taunus is definitely... Taunus is too too good for all of us. 
hours to see what my retirement life is like. I'll be out. Your wife works at Microsoft too, doesn't she? Yeah, you could take care of the you could take care of the dogs and stuff. <laughs> you can yeah, you can just be the dog nanny. That's definitely putting a silver lining on it. You're like, you know what? It's like you're like you're like every dude in every TV show who ever got laid off. You're like, you know what? It's the best thing that ever happened to me. I've been working at my job for 12 years too, and my boss still fucking hates me. I'm self employed. <laughs> Guys, I have also been working at my job for about 10 years, and, uh. I don't know. What can I add to this joke? Okay, what's gonna happen here? Garuda! Alright. Okay, you hit a mystic snake. Oh, you hit a mystic snake! Don't even care about that. Alright, we're taking eight here. This is an aggressive attack, but, you know, it's life. Oh, you also had a worm coil engine in hand. Okay. Yep, that's pretty good. Alright, well, well, that's great, Henge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is what? Six. That's unfortunate. We are one shy to fight things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yikes. Dude, let me, I'll tell you the one thing I do enjoy about streaming full-time is that, like, um, I do have a bit of job security. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, eh. One. Two. Well, we do get to draw a card. That's not going to do it. You don't have reach? Neither of you have reach, huh? <clears throat> okay. Alright. We we definitely lost this game because of our own idiocy. But there was so much going on. And I feel like the... The, um... The interface for using Silent Blade Oni is not great. See, when something says, look at that player's hand... It's usually a separate trigger. My boss loves me. This place would fall apart without me. Well, the sandwiches would for sure. That's... That's for sure. I've been considering working at my job for years. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Jesus. So, Scofasco, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Finally able to use my Prime sub before Badger gives me another. Well, sometimes it's really hard to, to get underneath the Badger. John, what was it you were saying the other day about, um, about L.A. Noir 2? Was that... I forgot what you were telling me. You can just repeat it here, and then I'll know. It never works. He never spills any beans. He's too good. Or he values his job too much. <laughs> I guess. Something like that. 
I'm off to cook my all fresh meals for the night just for me, all of my alone. So I beg this, Josh. I'll see you soon. I think. I would like to play first. Can we get a, a play that's before turn four? I guess not, but at least this hand is good. I guess I can cast this Yarok for once. Who would put Pepper Jack and Mayo on those meatballs without you? Nobody, that's who. Because you're irreplaceable. Irreplaceable, you must not know about me, you must not know about me. I can find another you in a minute. Mana Rock. I was like, we're going to draw our own mana rock. Actually, that's not bad. We can go turn... We can go Yarok next turn. You like that? Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute. Baby, you must not know about me. Don't you ever get to thinking. He says mana rock and they appear. Magic. Yarok into Hydra is like a 40... F oh, well, that's... That's fresh. That's something. No, don't like that. Um, actually, maybe I Hydra this thing. You stream non-MTG stuff? Sometimes. I've been trying to stream Fall Guys, and we were streaming Luigi's Mansion. Not a ton of non-MTG stuff, though. I mean, we could play the Yarok, get a hit. I really don't want them to... I really don't want them to hit with this. Yeah, that guy's got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, oh, oh. ho. That thief of sanity's got to go. And it did. You know, it, it left. Matter of fact, tell me in a minute, baby. So far they've cast uh, Niv-Mizzet every single game. So I'm going to assume this game is going to be no different and they played Signet first because it doesn't affect their their mana production. Well, now they have to fix it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this isn't Niv-Mizzet, I guess. I don't know what's going on now. Wasteland 3. Interesting. I don't even think I've heard of Wasteland 3. I feel like they've always drawn two cards off of... Off of Niv-Mizzet. I'm gonna look up Wasteland 3. I mean, once you say Wasteland, I'm like... I'm pretty much all... I'm all in. Because you're like, you're talking about post-apocalyptic stuff, usually. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have six mana. I just want to play Yarok, but I also just want to play Kalidus. <laughs> Niv Miss It is still pretty funny. Oh, man. Got him. Got him. Um. <laughs> oh, God. What's happening right now? What are these What are these Fall Guys links you're sending me? Oh, my God, Matt. This second link you sent? Oh boy. Let's let's start this over. This is a three minute video, so I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, but Holy God, that looks amazing. This is a monster. 
Oh my god, there's noodles in there too? Oh my Jesus. Matt, have you gone here? Because that looks bananas. Oh, it's our turn again? Irreplaceable. I kind of want a Noxious Gear Hulk, but I also like the, the Kalita's value, you know? I think we've got a Gear Hulk here, right? And hope they don't have something for 4 mana that kills my Yari. Oh, they don't. Okay. Well. Would you like to do this? Yeah, you know, I think so. Are you going to suspend something in response? I bet you do. What did you put? Oh my god. Alright, I guess we have four turns to win. Assuming you hit some basics and things. Oh my god, I just... Oh, I clicked through combat? This is the worst, man. I'm basically the worst. <sighs> hey guys, we only have four turns to win. What's the best thing we can do? Just click through combat. I feel like every loss that we've had in this in this draft is our own fault, and that's unfortunate. Okay, so they have all the basics. All they need to do is cast Niv Miss It. Niv Miss It. Oh my god, my punk count has to be a thousand right now. These are all things that just wouldn't happen in IRL. So they're gonna play. Seems good. Seems good. All right, so they should be at 11, and now they should be at 8. We played Vivian because we want to be able to find the most ways to deal with uh, Niv-Mizzet if they end up having that. Um, hmm. Kalidus seems very good here. One, two, three. Unfortunately, we only have two black, so we can't play Kalidus and any of the other cards. Yep, that's unfortunate. I mean, we can definitely play Pelucronus next. Like, they have to play niv Mizzet next turn in order to Coalition Victory. So we do have a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have, seven, we have eight mana as well, so. Uh, Kalidus, they, they wouldn't get... They wouldn't get tokens, right? Because it exiles instead of dying. Oh, it does... You're saying it does take care of... Yeah, that's, that's my point. That's why I'm trying to play it. And I'm wondering if there's a three drop we can get. Maybe, like, just Vampire... Maybe just, um... I'm tempted to just negative two to get like to just get like Llanowar Visionary or something. They have one card in hand, like. All right, let's see what we can get here. Scavenging Ooze is interesting. Oh, Eternal Witness is interesting. Let's get Eternal Witness back. Oh, yeah, Eternal Witness seems legit. Let's get Noxious Gear Hulk back. And we can't play lands off the top because it's not... <laughs> it's not Oracle of Moldiah. All right.
See, if they don't know about Polychronos, they're probably more inclined to just drop a... Drop a niv mizzet here and be like, Okay, I'm safe. And I'll be like, no. You think the last card in their hand was niv mizzet I think it's possible. Are they just gonna... Is Coalition Relic just gonna resolve and they don't have anything going on? This is fascinating. Okay, so this is just nothing then. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Let's get trample again. Whatever. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna play Polykranos. I don't think there's an instant speed creature, but I'm still not gonna risk it. What we could do is actually attack this guy. Like, my unfamiliarity with this format is really what's keeping me. Even the game, if you control a land of each base, they're a creature of each color. Okay, they don't have those things. Okay. Okay, you did nothing. Sounds good. Alright, well. So I feel like we're in good shape here. Fascinating. I don't know what's happening here. Is there a removal? Do they have a board wipe? Oh, you're just going to attack that. Um... Sure. <laughs> Are they just going to kill one of these? Because that's... A prophetic bolt? The Kalidus. Um <laughs> You know it's funny, we could actually sacrifice Pelucranos. One, two, three, four. I mean hilariously this does work. Uh, they'll still gain life if we fight. <laughs> That's not how fight works. Um, so we can either keep Pelucranos alive, or I guess we're not keeping Pelucranos alive either situation. If we shoot instead, we lose Pelucranos and Kalidus. If we sack Pelucranos, we lose two beasts in Pelucranos. So it depends on whether we want the, the two beasts or the Kalidus alive. Oh, the damage is prevented. Oh, that's interesting. But we lose Kalidus, too. And you know what? I think that's actually fine. Yeah, that seems good. We also get to keep these two beasts. If we had more mana, we could actually still sacrifice this zombie, but magic's tough, so... You must not know about me. Alright. They have four minutes, we have six minutes. So this game is definitely... This cube has been very grindy, but it's actually... It's pretty enjoyable. I've been, I've been having a good time with all the games.
We still have three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen power on board, and they should be a, they should be at eight. Unfortunately, they're at fourteen. It's likely they'll only different. Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, there you go. There you go, kids. There you go. Actually, I should probably go pick up the dogs. I should probably pause this and go pick up the dogs and leave you guys up. For those watching on YouTube, I just went to pick up the dogs from the groomers. I was gone for like 20 minutes. I still have the remnants of a mohawk from Defcon. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Where else would it have gone? Frank to chat. Gotta go pick up the dogs. Frank IRL, order pizza with ridiculous toppings, getting ready to roll it up. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know my life. But look at Watson with his fresh haircut and bandana. There's nothing more pure. He also never sleeps in the dog bed. He sleeps under my feet usually when I'm when I'm streaming. So like I, I'm wondering if like I'm wondering I think he had like he also sat in the passenger seat next to me and just napped the whole ride back. He just sat his little head down in the passenger seat. And I was giving him some pets and like, I wonder if he just had a rough day. I wonder if he's like, I wonder if he gets stressed out at the groomers and he's just like, he's just a little stressed out right now. Poor little guy. Little Wallathy. Elementary, my dear Watts. I don't actually, but I will. I should start doing that now. I appreciate you coming back. Some people go for smokes and never come back. Mike's dad reference. Hashtag Mike's dad. I usually cut my own hair just being lazy about it. Well, Thanos, you unfortunately have some time now, so you can do whatever you want to your hair. I feel like somebody needs to send Frank that piece. I, honestly, I I I make I, I joke, but like I seriously do think that uh, uh I'm under the impression like the time off is gonna be good for you because you're not a dude who's gonna have a hard time finding a job. Like that's the literally what it comes down to in my head. I look at Thanos and I'm like, oh yeah, that dude's never going to be unemployed. There's certain people you look at, right? Like when you see that, that video on Facebook of like the eight year old kid that's like crushing the drums better than like anyone in the world. And you're like, holy shit, this kid's eight years old. And in my head, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. It must be nice to know you'll never have to worry about having a job again. You know, like you look at people and you're like, you're set for the rest of your life at eight years old. You know, you're good to go forever. Because of the skills that you already have. That are only going to be built upon. And so I look at a dude like Thanos. And I'm like. That, yeah, that dude's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Just through. <laughs> Just through my last match, be kind of streaming. <laughs> and I'm like, to be fair, I almost did, so we're not too far off. Thomas, I hope it does make you feel better. I, I definitely didn't mean to, like... I, I don't mean to be glib about it, right? I don't mean to, like, dismiss it at all. Because I know it sucks. You know? But I also do have a lot of faith in you as a... As a, as a talented person in your industry who has had an awesome career so far so this guy comes out next turn or two turn next turn Ooh, that's exciting i kind of just want to kill this thing but i also like mystic snake and i keep a mystic snake up we also can't because we only have one black so let's not uh We can also steal it. That's kind of cool. I mean, whatever they get. I don't know what they can get. What can you even get? My brain will stop yelling at me that I screwed up and I'm bad after a bit of time. Dude, that's definitely going to go away. But also, like... 
I'm almost certain this was not a quality issue. Oh, no, nothing, huh? Okay. Okay, well, that's... I see. Well, this is only sorcery speed, so... Let's bounce this. They're probably gonna pump this thing. Black mana? Dream eater! I'm only... You can get me through with a night. What we really wanted was a, uh, a land there, so then we can... We're not totally opposed to them uh, adapting this because whatever they cast with it, we can either steal or counter. And that's okay. I'm opposed. Well, you know what, standard beat? Blue, green, blue, and this one too. Steal it, steal it. We're not stealing it, we're countering it. Mystic Snake Oh, they're gonna count and they're gonna play something else. Triple white for banishing light. Really? Well, you know what they say. I wanna just dream eater this guy or uh sower this guy. Man, we're so close to silent blade owning. It's just a spell, right? You look at it. This kind of damage, but look at that player's hand. To me, cast a spell. Spell is anything. Spell is a creature too, right? Just be. Oh my God, water sports drew. I think I ruined my streak, but you know, I still, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Welcome back. It's been a long time. I feel like we're just stealing this, right? Yes, anything. You name it. Blue, 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 blue. Ah! Watson! Hey! That's probably Katie's desk. She uh, ordered a... Watson! Watson! It's okay. It's okay, bud. Why do dogs instinctively dislike doorbells? Okay, that's pretty good. They give him that reach. Okay, so... They're excited to meet new people! Well, that is... Okay, so what we can do is we can Voracious Hydra fight this and then attack Vivian? That seems fine. We can't... We can't Oni yet. This is for three, right? We can also make it bigger. Wait, we can Oni because we have this Incubation Druid. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh, it's not great. We could also just Dream Eater this, bounce this, and then attack. Yeah, that seems better, right? Are you close to just not watching or reading any news anymore? I'm so sorry. I mean, like, I am. I'm actually really close because I feel like it is a net negative on my life. The, like, for anxiety and stress and, like, frustration. Um... But on the other hand, like, I feel bad because I'm one of the people who have, like, the privilege of being able to do that. You know, I can not read the news and it's fine. You know, big deal. So it's really, it's kind of, it's a tricky situation for sure. Whereas, like, I feel like, um, I don't think I care about the lands. Great Henge seems pretty decent, right? We get four off, so it's five. One, two, three, four, five. We still have two and then... I'm going to put this in the graveyard. I'll put this in there. I don't care about the Mind Eater. I'm just going to keep the Great Henge. 
Also, what would have been nice is we can Dream Eater uh, at, at instant speed to bounce Banishing Light to Mystic Snake something. Vivian and Vivian. That would have been sweet. Yeah, Jedi Django knows what's up. Wall of Omens. Mm. That's not going to do it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, which of these creatures do we bounce? Probably... No, we don't want to bounce Sower because then we lose our, our guy. Great Henge is what? Do we have enough? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This costs five, which leaves us with three, four, five. We are one shy. Three, f so this is seven, eight, nine, minus four. So it costs five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're one shy. I think we're just going to Silent Blade Oni here. Three, four, five, six. We could also play this for four, make it an eight, and then play Great Henge for two. I believe it's pronounced sour. <laughs> oh, boy. We could also bounce Dream Eater because I think the Dream Eater Banishing Light play is very, very strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. The sad thing is even if we get Oni into play, we're still one away from Great Henging either way. So, yeah, I think we're just bouncing Dream Eater. It's more expensive, but it's also just better. Oh, so six and then three. Yeah, we're not going to. I'll keep it up just in case. Oh, uh, jutsu. Show me your secrets. What is this going to be? Valorous stance. Okay. Well, I guess I don't get to see your secrets after all. Okay, they have no cards in hand. I think that's pretty good for us. So one, two, three. So now this costs six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which would leave us with five. Always one shy. One, two, three, four. They can't activate. Oh, they can activate this. Well, that's pretty decent. We still just get to nug them for four and then nug them for eight in the air. I mean, that's probably what we're just going to do, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Yeah. I, I don't care about this. I'd rather just win. Like, we just have eight in the air next turn, and we can keep Dream Eater up to counter whatever they do, so. They have no cards. Like, we're at 20. This guy doesn't scare me. We're trying to win the game here, Josh. Gosh. surveil these i'm gonna just keep the visionary because it's just a free card here um does it matter not really
They have two cards in hand. Are they dead? They have died. Okay, so they're like a token deck. A token deck. Oh. We don't really have anything specific for that. Search your opponent's library for instance, source your cast that card without paying its mana cost, and that player shuffles their library. I'm just gonna submit. I'm incredibly offended, buddy, I know. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face. We sub I was like, we submitted, right? Yeah, we did. Oh, uh, this hand seems good. We got ooze into into murderous rider into choops or Vraska's condemn. This is like removal dot deck. That's good too. Ba -na -na -na. Ba -na -na -na. Oh, that's very charming. He was a murderous rider. It's true. Get busy oozing or get busy scoozing. No blocks. Uh, that was not the Baywatch song. That was the Beverly Hills 90210 song. But I could see why you'd get them confused, because they're from similar eras. Okay. Well, I'm not going to murder us right or anything. But I like that you knew. You're like, you know what? That sounds familiar to me. I know what era that comes from. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to play Murder Shredder just to kill this guy for no reason. When I got a Chupa Loop in my hand. Chalupa Cabra. I wouldn't do this normally, but... Considering I have two more removal spells in hand. Getting back to starting Fallout 3, do you have a good lead on where to get a mod for the remake Fallout 4 engine? I have no idea. That is a wild request. No, I don't know, actually. Because I, I haven't gone back and played Fallout 3. I think Fallout 3, out of the most recent three Fallouts, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4, I think 3 would be my least favorite. I think it definitely goes Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, and then Fallout 3 for me. 
So I just haven't gone back and played it. That being said, boy, do I still love Fallout of, of all flavors. Yeah, you can link me for sure. I'll save it. So if I ever go back, I'm can. I'm just gonna play Yari. Great, the great Yari. Oh man, one, two, three, four. We can actually play Polychronos and probably play this. No, we can't. We're one shy. One, two, three, four, and this would cost three. It's not a whole to do. This costs six. We could just play Great Henge. Hmm. I don't really care about this, to be honest. I think we're just going to play Henge here. It's an engine, if you didn't know. Cheers theme is fantastic. I feel that. Uh, Pelucranos would not be... No, because it doesn't... It's not a... It's not a... No, it's not an enters the battlefield ability. It enters the battlefield with this. It doesn't trigger as it enters the... Does that make sense? Like... It's not a triggered ability. Is, is basically what we need to get at. A lot of creatures enter the battlefield with certain things. Like a clone enters the battlefield as a copy of, of a different card, right? So like, even though it says enters the battlefield, it's not a trigger. Because otherwise it would die. That's really sad. God, the one time I get my stupid engine online and it's... Sad days. Give me all your things. See, look, would they kill our great henge? Oh, we still got, I guess we still have. All right, you know what? Yarok, the great. Gracious Hydra fights a creature. Let's fight this guy. Gracious Hydra fights a creature. How many... Can we have doubled the counters like a million times? So it would have been like a 16, 17 perhaps? Something like that? Does Sultai Boy let you play... Who's Sultai Boy? <laughs> what are you saying right now, Noah? See how you see how you smash when your hands fall off. Okay. I don't know what you can get here that's really that big of a deal. Fabro Elder? Wall of enchantments? Wall of Wall of Omens? Mm, it's pretty decent. Alright, you're at three, so all these guys are lethal. What's happening right now? Boop boop boop. Oh that's the end. Alright, so. Our deck's doing good. He was a skater boy. Said, see you later, boy. Man, remember that time I went to go get the dogs? I just like, I'm gonna pause the stream and go get some dogs. Josh, I will check it out. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Oh, Dr. Doom! Sorry I wasn't... Dude, don't even worry about it, man. This key has been fun. Good game, sir. Good games. Also, your name is Dr. Doom, which is literally my favorite Marvel character, so... You know. Is that... What's going on over here? Nope, that's not the one. What's this right here? Is this my water bottle? No. What is this? What is this right here? Is this... 
It's Michael's chair? Oh my fucking god. Yeah, that's better, I guess. Brett with the gifted sub? My god. Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. I'm gonna keep this hand. I've done fairly well. I'm a big fan of the band Flicker decks. Hey, thanks. Yeah, like, I, don't, I feel like all the archetypes are, are really fun. Oh, they mulligan to six? God, they can't win. That's the castle with the glass pies. Oh, boy. What's this chair? Well, we don't have a second blue. That's unfortunate. We'll get there. We don't even need one right now. So, which means we're going to draw Mystic Snake. You ready for Mystic Snake? What's your favorite ancient stream meme? That's a good question. Uh, Victor is spelled with a C, you friggin' nerd, Josh. Got him. Got him. Um, I don't actually know my favorite ancient stream meme. Let me think about it. Eh, we'll just do this. Oof, look at that. We drew another card. Unbelievable. I was a spidey guy myself. <laughs> okay, they're not really doing anything. So... Get in there, get a little full bloop. Wow, that just survived. All right. Well, this is fascinating. I don't know what's going on. Factor fiction? Literally nothing. Literally no spells before turn five. This is wild. Well, that guy's good. You coming down? Oh boy. That's just gold. Okay. I think we just make a six seven here. And then we can just Noxious Gearhulk their stupid bird next turn. That seems good to me. Oh, the X-Men animated theme song. I mean, X-Men animated series was a good theme song. But do, 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 do. All right. Whenever another creature enters battlefield under your control, yeah, I don't care about that. You got one card. I don't think Pact is in this cube, so I'm gonna gain some life and put this dude under the vat. Yes. Gonna eat it. Do they go a seven here? I feel like we're doing well. <laughs> yeah, they, they literally killed Morph like in the first or second episode. And I was like, this isn't even a real fucking character, man. They just made this dude up for the cartoon. Okay, we won this game. I don't even know what happened. There's definitely characters like Morph in the X-Men universe, like Mimic and things like that, but... I was like... There's like 900 X-Men. Just use those. I guess you can't just kill a random X-Men in a cartoon. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to sideboard against a deck where you only see 5-4 Dragon on 5.
What's the hold up here? T -t -t Today, Junior. How do you like this cube? I've been enjoying it a lot, actually. Man, I gotta go City of Brad. Oh, well, this is actually this is actually a, probably like the best curve we've seen. Wow. Any land lets us play Pelucranos, so that's pretty cool. Two, three, four. Wow. Who's the bigger jerk, Cyclops or Ringle? Cyclops or Wolverine? Uh, it's literally Cyclops. Like in X Men history, especially in recent X Men history, Cyclops is literally a actually trash character. Wolverine never actually like. I mean, Wolverine's gruff and like ch and and like kind of mean, but like his moral compass is always like facing the correct way. Whereas like Cyclops is kind of like an insecure dude who like that insecurity manifests itself with like overacting like oh i'm gonna okay yeah but just let me pay the one i don't know you're gonna censor my fabloop <whistles> it's the rudest thing you can do Walking Brolista. That makes my Glen Sleeve Siphon reverse. Isn't his brother a big or bigger asshole? I mean, are you talking about are you talking about Havoc? Alex Summers? Not really, no. Cyclops is definitely a bigger asshole than Havoc. Okay, so Menace. I like a good Menacio. Let's get in there. Let's see if this guy dies. Oh, fascinating. God, I'm just basically taking a million from this from the City of Brass. I think I counter this? Insidious Will, man. That's wild. Oh, man. Not my mind eater. <laughs> I guess we're just playing good old Yari. Um, okay. I'm just gonna blue, blah, 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 Yari. Bam. Okay. One more point. I mean, they have two cards. We have three, and we have a Yarrick on board. That seems good. That guy's gonna heal our uh, life total from all of our City of Brass. Kitty Pride is wonderful. Oh, Neheb, interesting. Kill it. Man, Noxious Gear Noxious Gearhawk with Yarok on board. Ooh! Chef's kiss, my dude. Kill both of these dudes. Okay. Deal. And yes. And come at you, bra. They have two cards, we have two cards, but we have an extra land and both of these bros in here. This draws us two and this automatically gives us enough mana for enough energy for a thing. Draw two. Nice. Friggin' mole drifters up in this piece. Oh, Ewit. Oh, something's happening. 
Oof. Brutal. Um, put on top. We're putting both of these on top. I think we're just playing Glint Sleeve here. I don't think we want anything back with the turn. Actually, yeah, we can just wait. I'll just play Glint Sleeve and Fetid Pools tapped. Or we can... Um, we can go land and just cycle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Interesting. I looked up how to play the theme song on my guitar and it's not easy. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty funny. Yeah, we're just going to play Swamp and Cycle. Like, we still have four, five, six, seven mana. I think that's more than enough. Plus this guy, so... Oh, wait, this is eight. So next turn we can actually go Yarok into Eternal Witness, which is pretty sweet. Okay. City of Brass is always like, don't tap that other land yet. I got things to do. So what is this, four, five, six, seven, eight? Yeah, so we can definitely go this guy into uh, Yarok into Eternal Witness here. Eternal Witness. One, two, three, four, and five. Yari. Yep. Again, City of Brass is like, hold up. Let's get Polukronos and Fibbletip just because he draws two cards. Yep. So Eternal Witness draws us two, Fibbleflip draws us two. Now we got engines, boys. I have really been enjoying this cube. Hmm. So let's assume they have Snapcaster into like into either spouts here. Oh, well, that seems good, right? One, two, three. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. One, two, three, four. Because even if they have a counter spell here, like, they don't have enough mana for the other spouts. So. I mean, they're passing with seven mana, and they have other spouts in the graveyard, so I'm just going to assume they have snap. Thrix. Spells you call you cast with converted mana cost five or greater cost one less. Sure. I mean, I can't kill this or this. You're just going to block the Eternal Witness, which is fine. Um, yeah, okay. Nothing left to counter. Nothing left to get from the turn. You tried to bounce my whole team again. So long, E Turtle Witness. So I have three mana. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Also, guys, I hate to say, I hate to say it, but the set review is going to be postponed until tomorrow. I didn't think the draft and the dogs and everything was going to take as long as it did. So, I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm so sorry. I love you guys. Even though we ain't got money, I'm so lucky, honey. Got one card in hand. <laughs> no. Yeah, because, like, I didn't want Rob to, like, have to wait around until his draft is over. We were going to do it at 3.30, my time, and it's now 4.43, and this match isn't even over yet. So it's, like, an hour and a half delay, and I'm, like, it's already, like, 7 o'clock Rob's time. Well, if you love us, why don't you marry? I'm trying, okay? Jeez. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The 
The title does lie. I, I haven't removed. I have. I'm gonna remove it right now. I'm sorry. One, two. So what do we do here? Like, they block Mystic Snake because they can't block this guy or this guy. So you take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just play this guy, right? In the morning when I rise. Your last card's a counter spell? Oh, wow. So, I mean, the thing about this is we can make this guy a... It's going to be a 2-3. We can make it a 4-5, and then we can just fight this. Which I guess we have to do here. One, two, three, four. Done. Uh, first one. First one's going to be fight. Put the fight trigger on the stack targeting this guy. Double the counters. So I guess we're just putting you to one. In the morning when I rise. Bring a tear of joy to my eyes. Tell me. Three, four, five, six. And you get a three. Okay. And we get to draw an extra card from this guy next turn. And they're in top deck mode. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Oh, good games. 3-0. God, we're trophying this cube like crazy, bro. Thank you guys for watching. Check out nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore if you guys are looking for an awesome, awesome internet security solution in the form of VPN. You get 68% off a two-year subscription along with one month free, which is a great deal. And you get to support the channel. Five play points, a forest, that you know, an artless forest, a dredge the mire, and a double vision. Okay. Okay. You can also check out manatraders.com. They have an awesome subscription service. You get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. So be sure to check those out along with slamming the like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.